Hi guys and welcome to Sunday School today. Today is January 24th, 2021. I hope that your year is going well. Um, my name is Hope Lovick and I am the Children's Director here at Community Christian Church of Moore Park. So today we are continuing on in our Old Testament Bible stories. We did last week the Tower of Babel, we did Noah's Ark. We took a break for Christmas uh, to tell the real Christmas story, but now we are back at it with our Old Testament stories. And today is our first story of Abram, otherwise known as Abraham. So we are going to start off with him. In the next few weeks, we will be learning about different accounts that happen in uh, Abraham's life that are in the Bible. So we hope that you enjoy our story. Our verse for today is taken out of Isaiah 58 verse 11. It says, The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land. He will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. So like today, you're going to learn how Abram, God leads Abraham into the direction that he wants him to go. Um, Abram's giving no instructions of where to go. He says, just leave, go. And so he's directed and um, he makes his way to the land where God wants him to be. And um, Abraham is not selfish in allowing his nephew to pick which land he gets. And there's no fighting that way. So it's a really great, um, it's a good story of being obedient, being unselfish. So we're going to go and um, before we start our story, we're going to do a little bit of a lesson on what obedience means. What does that mean? And then we will get back to um, our story. Okay, guys, today in her story, we are going to be learning about a man who um, obeyed God. And this man is named Abram. And we will later find out um, in the weeks to come that God is going to change his name to Abraham. So I'm hoping that I can remember to call him Abram rather than Abraham because a lot of us are more used to saying Abraham. Um, and this story takes place in Genesis chapter 11, the end of 11. 12 and 13. And we are going to be learning about, um, he was very obedient. Um, and you might not know what obedience means, um, but it is the willing to obey. So what does obey means? So here's an example of obeying. When your mom or dad or relative tells you to clean your room, are you going to go clean your room? Are you going to go in there and clean and pick everything up? Or are you going to read a book and play with your toys? Hopefully you pick that you would obey. Otherwise, if you don't obey, it is called disobey. So, we, whoops. Um, so we have Abram who had to do some big things to obey God. And one of those things was to move to leave his land and go somewhere. But God didn't give him an instruction book of, this is where I want you to go. This is where I want you to put your tent up. God said, go. And Abram left. He went, he obeyed God, even though he had no idea where he was going. So we're gonna get started on our final graph for today, our story, and then we will come back for um, some craft and more activities to do. But remember this, to be obedient. God blesses those who are obedient and who obey him and follow his word. So sometimes that's hard. It's even hard for grown-ups to do this, to obey um, rules and laws and everything that happens in our day-to-day, -day, but it's, it's good to really keep trying to try to be obedient to God. One of the biggest things is being in God's word, reading your Bible if you can, praying to God, which all of you guys, even you little kids can be praying to God. So let's go ahead and get started in our story. Abram lived in a city called Ur. Abram loved God, but many of his neighbors who lived in this city did not. They worship the moon God and they made sacrifices to this God. Abram said, the only God I am ever going to worship is the one true God who loves me and takes care of me. 
when Abram was still with his father, his father said, we are moving. I'm sure you're not going to be happy, but I'm glad that we can get out of this wicked city. Then they traveled. They were going to go to a place called Canaan. But when they traveled just halfway, Abram's father stopped and said, we're going to live here for a while. Abram obeyed his father and stayed until his father had died. Then God talked to Abram and he said, leave your country behind and your people and go to the land I will show you. Abram didn't know where he was supposed to go. God hadn't told him that. But Abram knew he was going to obey God and was going to follow where God was leading him. His wife, Sarai, may have said, are you sure God wants us to leave? Because where are we going to go? You haven't, God hasn't given us any guidance, any directions. But Abram knew that he just needed to follow where God was going. He says, I don't need to know where I'm going. I just trust God and will obey him. So, they began to pack all of their belongings and all of their, their relatives. And they had a lot of farm animals. And Ab um, Abram also brought their, his nephew, Lot, got to come along with them. So between both of them, they had... Cattle, sheep, they probably had, they had some donkey, oh, let's put the donkey down, donkeys, there's some more cattle, whoop, cattle, they probably rode on some camels to travel, kids, so, Abram, Sarai, and Lot traveled many days and not nights. It was hot and dusty, and they often were very tired. At last, they stopped near the place called Bethel. At different times, Abram built altars to worship God. So as he did, so he did this in Bethel too. Both Abram and Lot were very wealthy. They had sheep and cattle and many servants. But there were too many animals and not enough pasture. So fights would break out between the herdsmen of Lot and Abram. It just isn't enough land for your animals and mine, said Abram. We are godly men, and I don't want our neighbors who don't love God to see us fighting. What would they think of us? But I have an idea. Look over there to the east. Now look over there to the west. Choose where you would like to live, and you can have this land, that land, and I will take what's left. Abram was very kind to his nephew Lot. Lot chose first. God helped Abram to not be selfish. What land did Lot choose? The land on the east side, which was a beautiful countryside with lots of water and green grass for his sheep. But he made a mistake, Lot did. The land he chose was near a very wicked city. Abram had the land that was to the west Oops. that wasn't green and beautiful. But God had made had a surprise for Abram. Look as far as you can see, God said. All of this land will someday be yours. So Ab Abraham moved, Abram, moved his tent to he Hebron, and once again he built an altar to worship God. Abraham wanted to talk to God often, so that he would remember what was right. Abram learned to love his new land, and he never forgot to talk to God. Let's remember, God blesses obedience. We shouldn't let the security and the comfort of a present position or home make us miss out on God's plan for our life. So as we think about today our story and how... Um, Abram wasn't selfish in saying, oh, I want the place where there's the trees and the land and the grass and the water. 
for my crops and animals. And he said, Lot, you pick. And Abram didn't know that Lot had picked the wrong spot. But God knew. And God was protecting Abram from that. And even though maybe he got the land that looked more like a desert and was dry, they might have had to work and dig a little further to get water for their animals. God protected them because God was, because Abram was obedient to follow God in the beginning. And God was preparing the way of what Abram was going to be doing with his family. So what a blessing that is that he followed in obedience. Okay, guys, so for our, our craft today, um, pull out this paper. This is like a background scene that you're going to do. And then you have um, two people. So one of them is Lot and one of them is Abram. So you can pick which one is which. You should also have in your bag a two popsicle sticks. So these are going to be like puppets. So you will color them. You will color the background. And then you will have, um, you will have your puppets that you will make. And you can tell the story about how um, Abram told Lot to um, pick either, either the east side or the west side and pick your land. And, um, and so you can use that. There's also the other activities, um, the coloring sheet and the activity for older kids. So feel free to guys to do that whenever you um, have time. So I hope you guys enjoyed our Sunday school class for today. Um, again, remember that we do have in-house Sunday school, so you're welcome to join us anytime. Let's go ahead and pray. Dear God, we just thank you so much for the story of Abram and how he followed your, um, your voice and, um, and how he was not selfish when he picked land and he let Lot pick something that maybe he wanted. He wanted the better looking land, but he, you knew that he, you had something better in store for him, even though he might not have known it. God, just like how you bless us and um, decisions that we make in our lives, we might not recognize that they um, are sometimes for the better, for our good. And we just thank you for that. And we just pray that we would have a great week and a blessed week. Amen. Bye, guys.